Luton Town have made another sign-in. Ryan Giles, welcome to the club. Ryan is a 23-year-old left back and he does play a bit of left midfield as well. And he's come from Wolves. Reports were around the £5 million mark. He was on loan last year at Middlesbrough, but we'll go into more detail that shortly. As we normally do, let's go through his history and work out what type of player he is and dive into what Ryan's been up to. So he started his career at Wolves in 2008 and he won Academy Player of the Year in 2017. He was loaned out to his home club side AFC Telford United in the National League by manager Rob Edwards who then later become his under-23 coach at Wolves himself. So he has a good relationship with Rob. So, you know, that's going to go down really well. If he signed him at Telford, then he's played with him under-23s at Wolves. And then, obviously, now he's signed him back. I think that would be a nice mutual bond together that he's he knows him well. When he was at Telford, he played nine games and he scored twice. He then went on loan to Shrewsbury Town in 2019 and played 19 times, scoring one goal. In 2020, he was loaned out to Coventry and played 20 times over two seasons. He then went out on loan to Rotherham United and played 23 times, scoring two goals. Later on, he was then recalled and he went to Cardiff City, where he played 21 times and had an impressive nine assists. He was then loaned out the following year to Blackburn Rovers, where he played 11 times and had one assist. Last season, he went to be a crucial player for Middlesbrough on their playoff semi-final finish playing 45 times and registering an impressive 11 assists from left back. He's now signed for Luton. This type of signing is really impressive, actually, because looking at his performances last year for Middlesbrough, bombing down that left wing, crossing it in for Akpom with a lot of them assists, etc. Very similar sort of style to what Doherty, um, or Doherty, sorry, the way they pronounce it, um, was bombing down the wing as well. And it sort of questions this now. If you're bringing in a left back, what that means for Alfie, whether Alfie is then going to push into what Fred did last year and the backup role. We haven't obviously seen Fred this year and especially not in the tour either. So does that mean Fred is going to not be featured anymore or is he currently injured and we'll have two backups. We may have um, Alfie on the left and Fred on the right or they can do both. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a real interesting one to see actually how they line up. But as I'm over overlaying these videos on the screen of Ryan's performance, I think it's going to be a real exciting one. Let me know in the comments exactly what your thoughts are. I know there's lots of Middlesbrough fans. As soon as, obviously, uh, Little Old Luton have been linked with one of their players from last year, etc., that he's not good enough for the Prem, didn't like him. But I'm sure, you know, raving all about him last year throughout. And I'm really excited to have him here. We've got lots of championship experience, as we say. He's played 119 times in the championship. He scored two goals and had 22 assists. So it's a pretty good record, to be fair. And, you know, a real solid player. And the fact that he hasn't played for Wolves in the Premier League, would we turn around and say, you know, we're buying a player um, that hasn't had the Premier League experience? Or are we the fact that he's only 23 years old? We can work with him very much so like we have done with all the players. He's got a lot more to give. And we are the club that will give him the boost to send him fly high in in the Premier League just like Wolves brought him for originally hoping that was the case I've been sending him out to all the championship clubs getting him good experience ready to come in and they haven't obviously been able to fit him in their Premier League squad whereas for us I think the style that we play some of the videos that we've been watching really will suit our style of play and as we saw on the tour video not too long ago they were training over in Slovenia it paced straight into the box they were sh uh, sprinting from the halfway line and getting into the box as quickly as he can. And that sort of style, if we've got Ore going down another and bombing them into the box, you know, just sending them with the Adebayo and then Morris on the end of it as well, I think it's going to be a real good season. We can sort of see the way we're trying to play it out. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments exactly what your thoughts are and what if there's anyone else you want to see. But a moment overlaying now, as we can see, the lineup that we would probably expect to see. Uh, moving it into the season and it's gonna be a real exciting one so drop us a like and drop us a sub and we will look forward to seeing it on the next video and who we get next